PinCore is a master data management system. It can manage data models for many different use cases, supporting data models of any industry. To create a data model, you can use a web-based interface and choose various input components to build your data models. Each data object has a so-called class definition. We will now start by creating a new data model. For example, let's create a new product data model. To do so, we will create a new class, which is our product class. And for this class, we will now define our data model. The class editor is the tool to build our data models. Simultaneously, when we create our data model, we also design our data entry input layout. It will define how the editing interface will look like to a business user. I start by adding one layout component. In this case, a panel. There are many more layout components to choose from, such as tabs and labels. We can set up many layout options for this panel. Like its size and other configuration options. Next, we set up our data model with the data components. We have many different ones to choose from. Like text input fields, date select fields, image fields, and many more, it's all around more than 45 different input components you can choose from here. And we're going to start with a text component for the name of our product. Let's take an input field for the name of the product. We can then define the field further. Is this a mandatory field or not? Is this field editable or not? Maybe it is even invisible because its golden record lies in the ERP system and is not relevant to the business user, but just for the API. And here, we can also do some validations. Maybe a name has to have a particular format. Or, we want to control and limit the character count. Let's fix the maximum character length, for example, to a maximum of 200 characters. There are these configurations and more. And then, we continue with our second data component. We use an image field. For example, we say, here, we're going to give the business user an option to add an image. To provide this option, we will add the image component. It will allow the user to add an image to this data. We are continuing with a relation, so we don't have a flat data model. PinCore's three-dimensional data models allow us also to relate our data to other data in the system. For example, we could say we have a category that we want to relate to. We select it here in the restrictions that define the type of allowed relation for this related field. In this case, it is a category. And now, we continue to add additional data components, for example, a select field. We want to provide the user with custom options to choose from multiple values. We can define here also our available options and the values PinCore will save to the database. Let's call them option 1, option 2, option 3. And then, we can also, for example, add some other components. For example, an external website URL. We will also add a checkbox component. Let's call this one, approved or not. We might also not just have a single relation to a category, but even many-to-many -many object relations. We can use this to define a relation to multiple accessory parts related to this product. Let's call this one accessory. And now, we will save our data model. We can also import or export configurations. And we can also configure custom layouts. So the editing interface can look different for different users, different user roles, or workflow states. We're creating our new object of the type of product. Let's call it test. We will see our data input editing interface. And we will see our data model. And now, we can already add some data here. For example, we can add a name or use PIMCOR's drag and drop features to add an image. We can add and relate data from any module. We can also select our categories here. We can choose from our existing categories or add a new category. It's very comfortable to use. I can also add a URL, for example, our test URL. And we can also test our checkbox field. We can also choose from all entities, such as our accessories. Here are the relationships to our accessories that we can assign. I think this gives a good overview of the flexibility of data modeling inside PIMCore. Sign up now for a free demo. PIMCore. Own the digital world.